that was our friend Jeannie Mai Jenkins and her adorable daughter Monaco right there. She is joining us now. Welcome, Jeannie Mai, to our Mama's on the town, Jeannie Mai. What's up, Marlon? Mama's coming in looking hot today. Thank you. Hey, you know, you got to come to Orlando where the sun is. I got to bring some of the sunshine. Uh, you know, it's would, beautiful out would here. Who'd you travel out here with? So I travel by myself because Monaco is sick. It's her first time getting super sick at home. So my husband's holding down the fort. He made her for the first time, baby. I'm not trying to put you on front street, but I'm impressed. Scrambled eggs and brown rice. Hey. Sauteed it together. He has a new restaurant. It's called Dad's. You guys should check it out someday. Okay. <laughs> and is that in Atlanta? That's in Atlanta, yeah. Oh I was so impressed. How are you doing? I remember the first time my oldest got sick. I kind of freaked out a little bit. And then I'm like, I don't you know, just kind of roll with it after that. How are we doing? So we, I noticed immediately that Jeezy and I have a different way of parenting. I'm the one that's like, my poor baby, I love you. Oh, and I'm kissing her on the mouth. I'm all in there. He's the one that's like, don't touch me. Six <laughs> feet away. I love you, baby, but I got to roll. I got to go to my shows. He's not even, he's like, he's shooting the stars from like across the room. Yeah. You want so, her to get all sick, though. That's how they I know, up I know. The exactly. good news is she's on the men now. Nice. She's totally good, and I completely good. am germ-free, yes. So are you, uh, are you a ride person, or have you hit the age where, like, it kind of messes with you? Guys, so I grew up in San Jose where we had something called Great America. Yeah. I had the season pass. I worked there for the family discount. Ooh. I had the churros on lock. Yes. <laughs> I am an amusement park fan, and I haven't done the new roller coaster. Oh, good here. Oh, good. yeah. What's the drop one? The drop one. What's the, that? You've got to go to the drop one. The drop one's insane. Harry Potter, the same thing, right. too, on the motorcycle. All, you all fly. Yes. Wizardly World right there. I'm the type to ride any ride. The only thing is, if you are riding with me on the ride, you cannot touch me. Like, do not grab me, do not, oh, because I will. It'll become an assault. It'll like, be I hot. cannot. They got you locked in, so you can't really yeah. stretch too much anyway. Touch Everybody's all locked Wait, in. Wait, are right you there. still good at rides? Because I went last year, I'm 52 now, used to be the ride junkie. Now, literally, I was so sick. I had to lay back in the back of a golf cart, and they wheeled me back no. to set. I'm not kidding. I can handle it was like bad. The one time, because kids, you know, like to go back they to back. They want to go again, oh. again. I'm not back to back. But I can go one time. I'm still good. Oh. No, I'm the ride thug. I will go on the last seat on the coaster so you can look back there you go. and be like, this. Hey, you see that <laughs> boat that just went by flat? That's my ride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, later. One Get right you there. right there. Uh, Jeannie brought us something so awesome. I did. Yeah, what'd you bring us? Al's Brew. Mario, Ooh, knock it back. We've okay, already been partying. Okay. All right, so this is a drink that I actually discovered at Whole Foods. When I tasted it, you guys immediately taste Real brewed tea, organic, antioxidants, amazing tea that's locked okay. down with alcohol, you guys. So it's a clean, boozy drink. When I tried it, I was like, wait, this is amazing. I've never tasted something so refreshing because I drink a lot of tea because it's good for your skin. It's wait, tea with alcohol? There's tea, tea, but it's freshly brewed. And Mario, you wow. don't get the bad buzz that gives you like exactly. a headache. And well, this is one I'm... of the cleanest drinks on the market because when they say it's natural, there's actually sometimes up to 100 chemicals that yeah. make the word natural. This, we publish everything, 100% natural, and it's now in Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, BevMo. You. We've been blowing up because everybody wants some boozy yeah. tea. I'm always bringing hey, you the you green You get a little shit. boozy, then you hit yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Hey, you go. Yes! <laughs> oh, all night long right here. No, wait, I heard the best story about how you got discovered, Jeannie Mai, from your guy, Tootie. Shout out to Tootie hey. at 12 o'clock. Tell everybody the story. This is true about you being a Mac makeup artist yes. and... So I was a Mac makeup artist, and I did get into television working in different um, small shows in San Francisco. But Tootie's right. There was one junket, if anybody knows what it I didn't know what a junket was, so I'm going to explain it. It's basically where the actors in the movie come to promote the movie. They come to, like, a certain hotel, and every outlet, outlet comes and actually interviews them. Yeah. Well, I knew about where this one junket was going to be, and I didn't work with an outlet. I wasn't a reporter. Crash? But I knew how to ask questions, and I knew how to look the part. So I dressed up, and I walked in, and I made up an outlet that I was working at. Do you I, remember I, the I name? I work for Intel TV. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. Wait, what is Tootie And guess who I interviewed? Who? It was Johnny Depp. What? what? Johnny Depp was my first ever interview that I had on camera. And the crazy part is the people who got the tape, they didn't know who to make the tape out to. And I said, just give it to me. You can write Jeannie Mai on it, and I'm going to get it back to my team. And he questioned me a bit, and he wrote it down. I met that cameraman again about 10 years later, and he said, you lied, <laughs> you did that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you said, cheers to that. Now submit yeah. to my real outlet, one of the 12 shows. Know, yeah. That is a wild story. I don't know what it has to do with Tootie. I need Tootie. a toast on that one. I don't know what it has to do with Tootie. I know that. Tootie is the one that just told me the story. Oh, okay, got I it. think Tootie was a makeup artist at Mac as well. But you know what I love? I always oh, tell my kids. Oh, that's 
you got to be hungry. Like, you made yes. it happen, I think, in the rest no, of history. No, people always say, fake it till you make it. And I've never, well, OK, yes, I faked that role. But I've never faked it in my eyes. I've never pretended to be something I'm not. I always knew that I would be good at reporting good at moments and interviews. So I faced it till I make it. And I've done that ever since. And that's how I got to where I am now. Hey, that's awesome. Bottoms up to that Salute right there. To that. Thank you. Salute to that. <laughs> you guys, I'm how, teaching how kids is, all uh, How's Mama Mai doing these days? How is she? She, oh my gosh, Mama Mai is is my north star when it comes to how to really make children happy. Like I make moments for Monaco in every way that I can. I have fun with her. I play with her. The only thing that that I I think Mama Mai and I differ is she was really strict when I was growing up. She she was so afraid of boys. She she didn't want me to experience life, and. I'm going to be the same way with Monaco, except I know I got daddy right there behind me, so daddy's going to be like <laughs> the person who's going to just make sure that this kid is always going to be in check. So I don't have to play the bad guy. I'm going to let my husband do that. Does your mom treat her different than she treated you? 100%. Like I think that's the biggest shock when you have your first child. Yeah. You see your parents parent them the way you should have been parenting <laughs> in the first place. Like, what the heck? I'm so shocked that, like, I'm still going through counseling right now at some of the things my parents <laughs> taught me and the things that my mom forbade me to do. And she's so loving. She's so, it's okay, Kong, it's okay, don't worry, you learn. And for me, I was like, no, like, you, <laughs> like, I thought I could fly when I was younger person? because she, like, threw me across the room. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that my mom is learning different things. You had Monaco it's dress cool. up as uh, Mama Mai for Halloween, right? Yes. We actually got a little video, I think, of it or a picture. Oh, let's, let's see this right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Funny. You die. Wait, I know. Genie. It's oh. so much fun. That's funny. And she always, see, already she's playing with her favorite toy, you guys, money. <laughs> hey. Wait, how much fun do you have dressing her? Oh, it's the best. Having, well, I think little girls or little boys, like, I'm, I'm always going to put some Flav and some Sasson in their clothing. But like, her, I'm always going to make sure Mario. they know what's up. But oh, cultural, um, making sure my kids know exactly where they came from, what it looks like in their heritage, how they dress for certain holidays. Oh, that's great. Uh, that's so important to us. Wait, I was, gonna, I was talking about the accessories. That was a good-looking bag she had. <laughs> Better than me, little Monica. Yeah, I know you hosted uh, Miss Universe recently. Yeah. How was that for you? Miss Universe was so much fun. Um, I... You know, being backstage, it made it brought me back to when I first hosted, and I was, you know, a correspondent backstage. I think you might have hosted a couple times too, but taking on that stage as a whole, representing all these countries, Miss Universe is a huge deal for other countries. I mean, a lot of these yeah. people they come together because it's all about getting their country to be spoken about, getting them to be represented. It's not so much about the beauty and, and the beautiful woman, but it's about our country, where she came from, how you can make yourself something. And I really felt myself in that. And this was the first year that Miss Vietnam actually placed in the finalists. That's, That's cool. huge because most people would never even know um, our country. So I was proud. It was amazing. It was one of our top shows ever. It was oh, great. That's great. Would you ever let Monaco be in a pageant? I think. Okay, she got so the looks. She has oh, and the thank talent you. and, thank and you. the smarts. I'm sure. The most important thing I think every woman needs to take away from the pageant is a pageant walk because a pageant walk. We'll get you the job. It'll get yeah. you your man. Can you get show you. us? That's, that's there, confidence. What is the yes. pageant walk? Okay, so I would say, like, if you catch me at home when I'm not in pageant, well, if I'm just in genie mode, you know, I'm walking around like, you know, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's me every day. No, just yeah. this. Mom. But if I'm in pageant walk, it's a... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> See, Mario, I don't have that. Hey. I need that walk. Hey, that's a walk. That's a oh. walk. Hey, that walk will get you the job and the man. Hey! <laughs> Salute. Thanks, thanks, Thank you so much Jeannie. for being here, for being here That's in Orlando. Awesome. As always, everybody, please remember to drink responsibly. But stick around. We have a special surprise. Can you guess? Don't look. Okay. Who's behind you? Do you want to give a, a teaser, Mario? Uh, oh, yeah. She's electric. Oh, my God. She's oh, fantastic. Who is this? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! And Debbie coming up.